What's happening you guys? So within this video we're going to find out whether or not 48 hours is long enough to spend in Rome. Now I already know that 48 hours is nowhere near long enough but within this video we're going to get an idea as to what you can get done within a 48 hour period. I'm starting my trip over at the Vatican City which is actually the smallest country located within Rome and it's also where the Pope lives. Now I bought an Omnia card which allows me to fast track entry and avoid all of the queues. So I need to find where this group meets within this whole area. I think it says the Opera Romano Pellegrinaggio or whatever that is. My pronunciation is terrible of all these places. If you haven't already noticed in all my other videos pronunciation is not my uh, strong point. Is this the place for the 10 o'clock showing? Oh yes. So this is the place, but check this view out of this place. Unbelievable. So you're not actually allowed tripods in the Vatican. The security guy told me to check it in the luggage section, but I didn't particularly want to, so. <laughs> This place is honestly spectacular. Every single room that you walk in and every single hallway is like another picture opportunity. You know how girls are wearing these gold bracelets on their arm? This is where they got their inspiration from. <laughs> so a lot of these pots that are in here are actually from 500 years BC. That's 500 years before Jesus was born. That is crazy. So it's only 11 o'clock and look at these crowds. I can't even imagine what it's like later in the afternoon. Incredible. This hall is the best hall so far. I've realized what the problem is within the Vatican. It's not the small groups of people. It's the big tour guides. You've got a king over there on his chariot. You've got a person stabbing someone down here. You've got a guy giving someone his mail. Yeah, I just don't get. Oh. So I finished in the Vatican, you can pretty much do it in about two hours. I didn't read all the bits of information, It'd probably take a lot, lot longer. But right now I'm going to head over to the St. Peter's uh, Basilica. So let's go. So I'm starving and my viewing at the Basilica is at 1pm so I'm going to go find some Italian food. So this tiny little cafe is where I'm going. It's rated number 14 on TripAdvisor out of 10,000 restaurants. Perfect. Thank you. So I've ordered a carbonara, which is very famous in Rome, and also an artichoke, which is also very famous in Rome. So I'm very excited. Thank you. Amazing. It's actually really beautiful outside as well, so I'm gonna go sit out there. So I don't normally eat carbonara, like cream base, because I prefer like a tomato-y base with spice, but this is exceptional. Now I realize what carbonara is meant to taste like. Let me call you back because my food's arrived. Let me call you back. Bye, bye, bye. So that is how you serve an artichoke. So I've never been a biggest fan of artichoke, but this is spot on. And especially because the Italians love so many carbs, it's important to get some vegetables in your system. And this is the perfect way. So two mains were 13 euros, so it's pretty cheap. Now I'm going to St. Peter's Basilica. Through there is essentially the Vatican State. That's basically like security. This Omni card basically meant that I didn't have to queue with all those people. So this is St. Peter's Basilica and it is the world's largest church. 
this is inside St. Peter's Basilica. This place is absolutely incredible, like the artwork, the building, the architecture. Now just over there to the left you'll find the Chapel of the Holy Sacrament and that's meant to be the area where God is most present on earth. So that was super surreal being in there. Anyway, let's go check out some more of this place. Just behind me, you'll see the major altar, and that's actually where the remains of St. Peter are actually held. Now, just over there to the right, you'll actually find a statue of St. Peter, and you're meant to touch his feet to pay homage to him, and you can actually see how worn down the feet have become from the millions of people over centuries who have touched them. <laughs> I've just noticed that there's people actually at the top of the dome, all the way up there. So I'm gonna work out how to climb up there. So let's do it. So a ticket to the top is eight euros by foot or 10 euros using the escalator. I wanted the exercise, so I chose to walk it. Oh, when you think you're at the top, you're not, because there's even more stairs. Then once you're at the top, you're rewarded with probably the best view of the whole of Rome. So these are the Vatican Gardens. But I wonder which one of these buildings the Pope lives in. Back down the impossible staircase. This is it for Vatican City. This is easily a full day trip. I only actually planned about three hours for this and it's now 4 p.m. and I'm still here. Next I'm gonna head to the castle of San Angelo. So I'll see you guys over there. I love this place. It almost looks like a set of a film. So over here we have the River Tiber and this is the castle of San Angelo where I'm going next. So let's go. So this is the castle of San Angelo. It was built 2000 years ago originally as a tomb. Since it has evolved into a fortress, from a fortress into a castle, to a castle, now into a museum. This courtyard is amazing, it feels so medieval. So when you're nearly at the top of the castle of San Angelo, you've got some amazing views of the Vatican and of Rome in general. Check it out. Look at how brutal this mallet thing is. That is mental, imagine that cracking on your head. And I've made it to the top. This sunset is unbelievable. Check out these views. Vatican over there. And look, the sky's red. Okay, I think that's enough time lapse. I need wine. Grazie and Graziella. So with Aperitivo, you get all these included with your drink and your chips. Crisps. I absolutely love clams, but I also love gnocchi, so I cannot wait for this. I mean, it's cooked perfectly, isn't it? Had to get a second. I'm getting pissed in Rome on my own. So I was still hungry, so I ordered a pizza, because I'm in Italy, so you order pizza. But I feel like I've got too much food. Pizza. Completed it, mate. It is absolutely freezing, so I'm gonna head back to the hotel, jump on a bus, and then off to bed. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. Found a pyramid, and I'm definitely not in Egypt. Okay, so I'm back in my hotel room. Today was a really, really busy day. I am knackered, so I'm gonna get to bed. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning. Very busy day ahead. I didn't sleep very well, I'm pretty tired, but now I'm hungry, so let's go get some breakfast. <laughs> Gotta be at the Colosseum for nine o'clock. It takes 10 minutes on the tube to get there, so I'm in a rush. So 
So this is the most popular tourist destination in the world. So don't be a cute whore and reserve your ticket and skip the line. So right now I'm actually inside the Colosseum. This was built in 80 AD and holds up to 80,000 people. Here there was gladiator contests, animal hunting and also executions. Come early in the morning because it is quiet and it's also one of the seven new wonders of the world. I would highly recommend getting an audio guide because otherwise how are you going to know what you're looking at? The Colosseum is no longer fully intact, but that's because of earthquakes, fires over the years. Next, we're gonna head over to Palatine Hill and the Roman Forum, which is just over there, two minutes walk from here. Your ticket for the Colosseum is also valid in the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill if you travel within the same day. So let's go over there now. So you can purchase an audio guide within here, but why do that if you can just go on the App Store for free? So bring your AirPods and do it for free. But also, why pay for water if you can get this free too? So right now I'm in the Roman Forum and this really is ancient Rome. It's been here for over 2,000 years and is basically the central marketplace. Essentially Roman life just revolved around this whole area. Now it feels like one huge open air museum. If there's anything that you do in Rome, make sure it's this because this really gives you a feel as to how ancient this city truly is. So this road is still intact and it was believed to have been built in 500 BC. Okay, so I've spent way too much time here and I could definitely spend more, but I need to go to the next place and that's Palatine Hill. It's just up there, so let's go. And up here is Palatine Hill. Now I have already been to the Spanish Steps along with the Trevi Fountain in my last video but I saw them at night and I want to see them during the day. But first I'm starving so I'm going to go get some beautiful Italian food. So let's go head on the metro. Look at how cute and small this bus is. I decided to get a bus because I can actually see things. Veal, carrots and potatoes, super Italian, bread, even more Italian, with olive oil. That was so good. Now I need some gelato. The best gelato is apparently right here. I asked like three Italians and they all said this is the best. There was nowhere near enough gelato. Absolutely amazing. But in more important news, those are the Spanish steps. These guys will find you if you sit down. This chick is about to get fined. To be honest, they look exactly the same during the day as they do during the night, except with way more people. I have already been to the top, so instead I'm just gonna go to the Trevi Fountain, which is 10 minutes from here. It's down this way. It does seem a little ridiculous to me that the police's full-time job is to find people for sitting on the steps. So just over there is the Trevi Fountain and apparently if you throw a coin over your shoulder into the fountain, you'll return to Rome. Now I'm not sure who came up with that one, but I'm definitely returning to Rome regardless. the Tempillo de Adriano. It's absolutely enormous. The pillars are huge, but it is closed because they seem to be doing some filming. So we are not going in. So directly behind me is the Pantheon. It's an incredible site. It's been here for nearly 2,000 years. It holds the record as the largest unreinforced concrete dome. It was originally built as a temple to honor the Roman gods, but has since been converted into a Christian church. When you're inside, it really makes you wonder how on earth that didn't collapse in on itself. It's absolutely enormous. It's honestly some of the freshest water. I just want to mention that this city is incredible to just walk around. Just spend a few hours wandering around this city, 
get lost. Next, I'm gonna head to Piazza Navona, which is just over there. Go and grab a coffee, do some people watching. Chances are people are gonna be watching me because I've got a vlog camera in my hand. So yeah, let's do it. Right now I'm doing what every single travel, blog, vlog, website would advise you not to do, which is have a drink on a piazza or in front of a site because extortionate. Right, I think I've spent far too much time here and probably far too much money on a single glass of wine. So next I'm gonna head to Campo de Fiori, which is also another public park. It's like a five minute walk from here, so let's do it. Got to mention, but there's also like street performers on this street. There's a guy over there doing that miming thing, that French, that whole situation, whatever that is. He's just over there. This is Campo de Fiori. It is absolutely beautiful, full of restaurants that are probably overpriced. But as I said before, that doesn't mean you shouldn't go. So yeah, that's Campo de Fiori. Let's go to the next spot. Oh no, is that it? I finally found it. This is the best chocolate on a raspberry within the lip. The walk to the mouth of truth, which is the next place that we're going to, is actually really pretty because you get to walk along the river Tiber. I've currently got a mouthful of this chocolate, which is unbelievable, by the way, if I didn't already say. But let's continue. Yep, yeah, it's the queue. For the mouth of truth. So this is the mouth of truth, and apparently if you put your hand inside it and you tell a lie, it will bite your hand off. So let's find out. I am deaf in my left ear. Okay, nothing's happened, but was that a lie? finished within the mouth of truth it will take you into this really cute little church but right now it is six o'clock I'm gonna go for a drink on the rooftop of Hotel Raphael but first no trip to Rome is complete without a souple which is this fried croquette which has rice inside mozzarella pecorino and like a meat sauce that is so so good I got mine from souple Roma so check it out size of this dog. I'm walking through Rome. I just walked past this shop and it's a weed store. I thought, okay, maybe it's just selling like popsicles and, you know, sweets and hemp and stuff like that. But actually, they're selling weed here. So you are allowed to sell it? It's very low. So, so it's very, very, very low. It's more for body height. When was this law introduced? Two years ago. Two years ago. That is crazy. Hotel Raphael, very excited for this. It's got great reviews and also great views. I just ordered a glass of red wine and it also came with this lovely little cheese board with some bruschetta on it. Now this is pretty expensive up here. However, the views are pretty spectacular up here. That is what you're paying for. This place doesn't take reservations, so I've got to wait about 20 minutes. Okay, so she just called me, and that was more like 30 minutes. Great food, great restaurant. It's been a very, very long day of sightseeing, so I'm gonna head to the bus stop, jump on the bus, and off to bed. Ciao. So last night after signing out of the vlog, I chose to go for a few drinks. That few drinks has led to a raging hangover today and waking up at half 10. I'm gonna continue the 48 hours in Rome, but I'm gonna try and get my money's worth out of this Omnia card by getting on the Omnia bus to the bus of Caracalla. We haven't moved from this stop in 20 minutes. Okay, we're moving. I could have walked faster than that. So 
this is Circo Maximus, and this was an ancient Roman chariot racing stadium. It's now turned into a public park, and now I'm gonna go to Aventine Keyhole. <laughs> here is known as the Aventine Keyhole and if you look through that hole you'll actually see St. Peter's Basilica straight through the end. So right now I'm inside the Baths of Caracalla. It only costs two euros for a ticket and it spans across 62 acres. This place used to accommodate up to 1600 public bathers. It has been ruined quite a lot over time however you can really appreciate the sheer size of this place and the construction that went into this. If you enjoyed the Roman Forum you will absolutely love this place so come check it out. So to answer the question, is 48 hours long enough to spend in Rome? I mean, we already knew the answer to that question. It is absolutely not. Ideally, you guys are going to spend five to seven days, at least a week, exploring this city. The Omnia card, is it worth it? Absolutely not. This was a waste of cash. If you were to buy the Vatican tickets, the Basilica tickets, Colosseum tickets, and buy the Skip the Line addition to that, it will only cost you 54 euros. This cost me 100 euros. So the added extras need to come up to about 50 euros in value. So save your money buy a Roma pass maybe, but this is definitely not worth it. Now I also want to include a few really helpful key tips. So the first one is always carry cash on you. A lot of places do not accept cards. I ended up buying five chocolate bars even though I only wanted two because the minimum spend was 10 euros. Second thing is always carry a bottle with you. Rome has some of the freshest water in these fountains and it's all free. Third thing, Definitely wear comfy shoes. This is so, so important. Another really handy tip, order coffee at the bar. Do not order your coffee from the waiters because you will be paying double the price because you're paying for the service. And then last but not least, eat as much Italian food out here as you possibly can. Nowhere else in the world has Italian food like this place. And that sounds pretty obvious to say because we are in Italy, but these guys know how to cook out here. So eat as much Italian food as you can. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful. Please leave a comment, let me know your thoughts. Press the like button, also subscribe to my channel and press the bell button to put notifications on. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.